So hi and welcome to my channel. So finally, there is some good news round the horizon for students in the UK. So whether you're already in the UK as a student or on a student visa, or even for dependents as well, or you're still out of the UK considering moving to this beautiful country on a student visa or as a dependent, then obviously there is good news around the horizon because look, 2023 has been a very turbulent start for students with some news and all sorts of changes from the government and all sorts of ideas. So it is good to finally have a good idea or a good thought that the UK government has in mind. So if you're new to my channel, obviously it's such a beauty to have you on here. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know I appreciate the time you take to watch this video. And most importantly, I hope that as you're watching all these videos, you're implementing every single thing. So leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement. Because 2023 is all about implementation. It's all about making sure that if you want to do anything, you're taking action. Because in action, let's leave it back to 2022. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you want to hit subscribe right now, turn on that notification button because you want to 100% be the first person to be notified when I drop a new video on here. But before I get started, I'm going to have to just tell you about my newsletter. So I have a newsletter where I drop information directly to your inbox. Also, if there's a question you want to ask me and you think, oh my goodness, Melvis, you know, I cannot drop this on YouTube. I want to send it to you privately. You can also use the newsletter because you're going to see my contacts on there and you can message me directly. So if you check the comment section below, you're going to see a link to the newsletter. You just need to drop your name and your email and that's it. Bang on, you're part of that newsletter. So if there's any information, any change, any update that the UK government is giving, I'm sending it directly to you because look, I don't want you relying on the YouTube algorithm for such vital information about your personal and professional development here in the UK. And that's why I do this newsletter. I also have a private career coaching program where I support with career progression in the UK. So if you're a nurse, carer, student nurse, you're a student, you're looking for those clinical and clinical healthcare jobs, career progression, you're thinking, oh my goodness, Melvis, I'm an overseas nurse, I'm in the UK working as a carer or whatever it is you're doing, I want to get back into my you know, profession. Or you're thinking I want to progress into other things. What else can I do? These are things that I'm really passionate about because as somebody who studied in the UK, as an international student, I do understand the challenges that we face in this country. I also understand how difficult it can be navigating through the system if you don't have the right support that you need and that you rightfully deserve in order to excel, to thrive and to have a beautiful life, you know, a career that is filled with fulfillment, filled with joy and look lots of money. Because the truth is many of us have moved to the UK because we want to have a better future. It's not to be worse off. So to have a better future in the UK, you need to do two things. One is career progression. Two, start a side hustle. Those are the two things. If you're not doing any of these two things and you're just there doing whatever it is you're doing, look, it's going to be so tough because the bills are going up and everything else. So again, don't get me started on all that. So like I was saying, you know, there's good news around the horizon for obviously students in the UK. So apparently this is not a law yet. I must warn you, it's not a law. It is something that the government is still deliberating on because I've already had messages from people saying, hi, Melvis, is it true that we can now work any number of hours that we want? The answer is no. As of the recording of this video, it is not a law. It is still something that the government is considering. So what are they thinking about? They are thinking of increasing the number of hours that international students in the UK are able to work. Look, I think this is going to be amazing, even for dependents, because it is very challenging. I have many people in my private coaching program who are dependents of people that are students in the UK. And it is hard because some of these students are like, well, even if they have courses where they're going to uni once a week, they're still at home all day, every day. They're unable to work those extra hours. So I think that increasing the number of hours that students can work is going to be a huge benefit. And I think it is something that is welcome because it's going to be good for the students, you know, obviously. And most importantly, good for their families as well, so that um, you've got that extra support because prices are high, you know, things are expensive. But the government is thinking about this, obviously, it's kind of more 
of a give and take situation. You know, you know what they're like. They give one thing here, then take the other one. So their objective really is to reduce the overall number of students, you know, international students that they have, but kind of increase the quality of students that they're getting. So the prime minister really last year said that there are so many courses that people are studying and he doesn't think that those courses should even be in existence, which means that if you're thinking about the courses, you know, maybe these laws are going to be depending on the course you're studying. Because they can't say if you're studying X, Y, Z course, then you can work full time. If you're studying X, Y, Z course, you can only work X number of hours or maybe you can't even move to the UK at all. That is the sort of thinking that they are having. So if you are out of the UK right now or already in the UK and you're wanting to study as an international student, you need to be very strategic. You need to be very wise. You need to be very smart on the course that you're choosing to study. Because not only is it expensive to study in the UK, you know, Average um, tuition fees for international students are currently um, in excess of £17,000 per year in most universities. You may see one that is more or less, but most of them are around that amount. In fact, where I studied, um, I paid £10,000 per year when I started in 2011. But right now, the same university is charging almost twice. So they have doubled their tuition fees for the same course for international students. So you want to make sure that you do a lot of research, extensive research. So if you're watching this and you're an international student, you're thinking of studying in the UK, what course are you currently studying? You know, drop it in the comment section below. If not, if you're still thinking of coming, what course do you want to study? Very important. If you're independent, you need to make sure that you kind of up your game as well because it's about supporting, you know, the entire family because these challenges, everyone is going to face them. So leave it in the comment section. We'll be able to explore are there good opportunities here in the UK for that particular course? Are there not good opportunities? You know, what are the chances of you securing a job? And if you're working full time, there are some courses that it would be very difficult for you to work full time, even if you could to work full time as a student. So again, healthcare related courses, for example, you know, are such a good example um, because you've got um, placements. You know, if you're studying medicine, for example, or nursing, you know, these type of courses have placements. So you, you've got to have placement, which is a seven and a half hours a week. So even if you're able to work extra hours, when are you able to do these hours? When do you do your uni work? So I don't know, you know, if the government is obviously going to make this into law, but I think it's going to be amazing either way. But then as a student, you've got to make sure that you're still able to manage your workload. Because again, you know, I have students in my private coaching program. I have many nurse, you know, student nurses and people that have come through other courses that want to get into healthcare. That want to get into nursing so again i deal with these sorts of challenges every day and that's why i like to do videos like this just so that people who are not yet in this situation are able to kind of think again you know if you are doing a course back in your home country it may not be some it may be a very good course on there but if you want to live in the uk when you finish the course you need to think differently there are different types of courses that people need in the uk or that the country is going to offer sponsorship for there are certain careers that they don't offer visa sponsorship at all so if you choose a course like that then what's going to become of you so again that's why i say be very smart be very strategic you know be very intentional about your you know your journey because it is expensive it is not a cheap way to get to the uk it is the most expensive way coming to the uk is coming as a student but you need to choose the right course so obviously if they increase these hours like i say you know, I'll let you know if you're part of my newsletter, I'll definitely 100% make sure that you're the first to know when that happens. But you cannot take hearsay like this video now, you know, for example, you need to be checking what are the policies? Is it already a law? Is it already a rule? By checking the government website, because it's incredibly important that you don't take what you've got from YouTube. You know, yes, you're watching this on YouTube and I'm telling you. Don't take my word for it. What you need to be doing also is doing further research to see when things change. Because sometimes people may not always do videos to update the information when it changes. And so you want to be ahead of the game. And again, if you join my newsletter, you check the comment section below. All you need to do is drop your name and email and I get that information delivered to you. If you've got any private questions, you're thinking, hmm, I don't want to put this on here. Again, you're more than welcome. Um, to send that over and I'll just make sure that I get back to you. So thank you. Keep watching the videos. You know, I've done lots of videos about, you know, scholarships in the UK, how to study for free, you know, apprenticeships. There's one coming up with medicine. 
studying, you know, to become a doctor in the UK without paying anything. In fact, they'll pay you £27,000 per year for five years to become a doctor. So if you're keen on that career progression, like I say, that's what I'm passionate about. That is what I specialize in. That is what my interest is in. So you want to make sure that you're checking my private coaching program out to get that individualized, that personalized support for the journey that you rightfully deserve. Keep watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.